hi guys welcome back to my channel happy thursday so we'll be doing a foundation review today so we're going to be testing out this foundation and we're actually going to review and uh, we're testing this foundation to find out if this foundation is actually worth getting so we're going to be doing the cover girl simply ageless instant wrinkle blurring press powder foundation and actually going to to blur your your wrinkles blur your fine lines and blur your pores and is it going to give you a flawless finish Make sure that you guys watch at the end of this video to find out if this foundation is actually worth getting so if you're new to my channel my name is michelle passion is to create videos and provide makeup tutorials and reviews to help you enhance your beauty and save some money so if you enjoyed videos like this please smash that like button and subscribe because it helps me create content like this and provide as much value for you and thank you so much for all your support guys so, so if you guys wanted to find out or if you guys wanted to join me to see if this foundation here from cover gold actually gonna be worth getting or not in that way you'll be able to save some money please keep on watching this particular press powder foundation here is actually available from Priceline if you live in Australia and it's actually retail for $20.95 and if you've actually live in um, in the US this is actually available from from Walmart and it's actually retail for $12.94 information on the uh, on the cover girl website so it instantly reduces the look of fine lines and wrinkles with the cover girl simply ageless instant wrinkle blurring press powder this hydrating press powder goes on creamy and does not cake or flake for a flawless finish the anti-aging press powder is formulated with hyaluronic acid and vitamin C to refresh the complexion and even out skin tone. Perfect for on-the-go touch-ups, the matte press powder makes pores less visible and floats over fine lines and wrinkles to deliver youthful looking skin. Compact press powder do come in a built-in mirror and also a pop sponge with the uh, application on the actual foundation so I'm um, looking at the screen now guys I've actually uh, applied uh, the foundation so I actually did apply a primer first and then uh, applying the um, foundation it's definitely matte finish so I would say this is more like a medium coverage and uh, definitely blurs um, my pores area here my uh, my fine lines here and it's actually a uh, it is actually a, uh, a matte finish it has a very smooth um, finish on the skin so I'm just applying the foundation in one side so you guys be able to see the difference between one side that I've already applied the foundation and the other side I haven't the shade that I've picked was the shade natural beige unfortunately this particular shade it's actually the wrong shade for me because it's got a little bit of pink undertone to it and check guys it's currently nine past nine in the morning i'll be wearing this foundation out throughout the day and we'll find out together how this foundation actually performs on my combination to oily skin and also i've got a mature skin see you guys soon guys so time check it's eight past four in the afternoon i've actually been wearing this foundation now for close to seven hour wear to look more like a natural look than when i initially had this foundation because i know earlier i said it was a medium coverage but now because i've had that longer sitting on my skin now i can actually see it's more like looking as more like a natural look foundation my t-zone area most especially on my pores area here the oil started to build up and i can see in the on my forehead and on my chin just a little bit of um, build up oil and yeah and also just um and also the um the foundation started to sit on my fine lines what i'm gonna do guys i'll come back again with my last check in and to see how this uh, foundation actually going to perform for this seven hour way to find out if I can actually recommend this foundation to you or not so I'll see you guys soon okay guys it's 7 27 at night 
so I've actually got this on now for 10 hours to actually emphasize more of my pores now and it's also started to um, to also in emphasize more of my pores on this area here all this oil um, build up um, more on my t-zone area and on my forehead I can pretty much see that the uh, foundation started to uh, to wear out because this has already been like a 10 hour wear and I'm gonna touch it up and I'm not gonna be um, bloating it and just see how it goes mattifies again um, when I actually uh, retouch it so overall with this particular foundation I certainly wouldn't be able to recommend this if you've got a dry skin because with me I've only got um, oily to combination skin hey guys I hope you enjoyed today's video comment down below what video you want to watch next and if you've also used this particular foundation I would love to hear your feedback thank you so much for everyone who already subscribed to my channel and if you haven't subscribed yet and if you wanted to see more of my future videos please consider subscribing to my channel by clicking that subscribe button and please don't forget to click that notification bell so you guys get notified every time I upload new videos every week on Tuesdays and Thursdays please don't forget to like and share this video. I'll see you guys in my next video. Love you guys.